yeah hello guys in my previous session i explained what are azure storage services and how to create the containers in blob storage and how to upload the the image files uh, documents and video files in the blob storage and how to upload the documents and how we can store the data in table storage service and how we can uh, create a messages in Q storage service so here in this session uh, i will show you how to use the the microsoft azure storage explorer so this is the tool where we can access all our uh, files where you can access uh, block storage and table storage all storage services azure storage services so here is the tool you can download from the from the uh, internet or microsoft website so here let me try to access my storage account that i created in azure, through azure portal so let me connect it so here when i try to connect to this and then here it is, is asking add an azure account azure environment azure okay so let me enter my email So now it is waiting for authentication. So now it is authenticated. So, and remember guys, I created some uh, uh, containers and I uploaded some image file. Okay, let's try to access those. Okay, so here if you hit this option, you can see it. And I remember in my previous class, uh, previous session, I created a storage account. So we'll just click on this. And then here you see block containers, file shape, queue storage service and table storage service. If you go and uh, if you open this block containers, here you can see this container where you can open this container. You can see the the, the the image file I uploaded here, you can use this. And then here you can upload, if you want to upload a folder, you can upload the complete folder from your desktop. If you want, you can upload from the desktop or if you want to upload just a, a file, you can do that one too. If you want to just use any file, you can do that. And here, if you want to download this, you can just hit this and then save it on desktop if you want. And then here you can uh, copy this URL and then let me open an internet. Uh, Hope you guys can see my screen. So just enter this URL. See here you can see. So this is how you can access this. And let's come back to Storage Explorer. Here, if you want to delete the uh, image file you uploaded, you can delete it. Here you can use the create snapshot. When you use a create snapshot, it will create a copy of it. And then here you can see it. You can you can open it. See this image is open. Now I will just close it. If you want to, if you don't want to keep this, you can just delete it. So remember if you see enable soft delete even if you delete when you when you enable soft delete even if you delete the files you can still uh, access uh, these when you enable soft delete 
okay let me just delete these files that i just created snapshot okay okay so i didn't keep any copies of this image file so i think i i okay let me if you want to upload it right i think i okay if you want to create let me just delete this container okay i'm deleting container so if you want to uh, create a container here you can do it so let me put the name lab you can just pick any name let me just keep this one okay let me just use okay zero nine so let me just upload one file here See now here, if you see it activities, this file is, this progress now it is updated. So now we have file here. So this is how you can uh, access the storage services using the storage explorer. Here, how you can create a, you can create a container. Let's go to this uh, next storage service, file shares. We create a new file storage services. You want to see in my previous class i just uploaded it so here you can uh, use download or you can create a new new folder so let me create a new folder let me just give the name i'll just give name file share okay let me create this one so here i want let me upload one file here in this folder, upload files. I'll pick a file. I'm uploading this storage services material. Here in the activities, you can see it, it is successful, one completed. In the new folder, I uploaded this document. You can copy URL using this URL you can access from the HTTP or HTTPS request. Let me just close this one. So if you want to delete anything, you can delete it or you can create it. Here, the storage service, uh, queue storage service. Let me create a new one. Create a new one. So here, if you want to add message, Follow the come to Azure World. Okay, so this message expires. So you cannot you cannot uh, keep it uh, more than seven days. Here, if you see messages must expire in less than one second and not more than seven days. So let's just keep five days. So it, can, it keeps the queue message up, up to 64 kilobytes. Let's go to next one, table storage. Let me create it. Okay. So create a new one. So if you want to add a value, let's give property name. A partition key. Let's give Azure. Azure, and then here is give storage. Okay, you can add property and then storage. Let's go to file. Stuff. Okay, we we'll just insert it. See here, Azure Storage timestamp when you created storage type. So here, if you put anything Azure, storage one. So this is more like key value storage. So structured data, 
just instance. Here I put the value partition key Azure, raw key storage one, and then storage type, blah. If you want to delete it, you can delete it. The selected and titles, let me just add one more. Azure storage one, let's keep file share. So this is how you guys can access the storage account using Storage Explorer. Okay, thank you guys.